Hi Sagittarius's, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your mid-November 2017 reading. Um, I'm calling this the what if reading because a lot of people are like, well, what if I got together with that person? What if this situation worked out? So I'm going to provide for you guys the energies that are available to you should you so choose to use them in your life path. Um, so I pulled in an energy with the Lenormand cards ahead of time to kind of discuss a particular energy or person or group of people who may be dealing with these type of energies. And uh, this is just a little bit about familiarizing. It's about what personal readings are like. It's about um, how listening to spirituality and the cards and the guidance of an empath can help you to walk this path in a more blessed, happy, and fulfilled way. One that doesn't have fear. Okay, so I'm just going to close the door here. All right, Saggies. So what I'm starting out with is the energies of the fox representing a five card spread with an enormous deck. And with the surrounding cards, I do see that in the beginning there was contemplation about a path, an idea, a goal, a situation, an environment, a connection. Is this something we want to continue? Do we want to start a new chapter? And really hoping and praying to spirit, hopefully, that you guys can be blessed, that spirit will bless you with the clover energies to find luck, happiness, and for fulfillment as you move ahead when it comes to energies of those around you who are making maybe some bad choices or are maybe who are confused. Because in the next month and a half to the end of December, we've got the mice energies in the ladies. So someone may be thinking of a lady or a man, I guess in this case, because it's a general reading, um, trying to, like there's a lot of, either you're worried about an anxious lady or you're anxious about a lady or you're anxious or maybe even having not so much deceptive but curious, nervous thoughts about a lady or her situation. So this is just one person's energies or a few people, whoever's these are. I want to continue by doing a spread with the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck for further clarification when it comes to uh, this and or maybe some similar paths, people who have Sagittarius in their chart, please. Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Please clarify more information when it comes to a Sagittarius or Sagittarius's through the middle to end of December. Yes, so for this particular energy and maybe for others, your current energies here on Earth at this time are the Two of Pentacles. The contemplation of two different things, two different ideas, two different goals, two different locations maybe. Contemplating on which is going to grow into being the best one for you before you decide. With the Page of Pentacles, there may be news about, I'm feeling a younger person who could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. <laughs> In this Sagittarius' thoughts position, they have the hermit energy, so they're trying to look at the big picture and trying to start from the beginning and going through what they've learned in this journey, who they are now, and hopefully where they can head towards next. In their thoughts, some Sagittarius's might have been thinking about a Virgo because that's what the hermit represents. Now in your foundation, whoever the Sagittarius is or the energies that connect to these messages, we have the Seven of Swords. So wanting to maybe go back to an old idea of putting closure to this path 
and stepping into a new path, but then coming back into the circle of should I or shouldn't I because there's this maybe a difficult child or a child that's just, there's messages about a child that's keeping the situation kind of held up in the meantime. And there is a lot of stagnant in, uh, energies for a lot of people in November, December because we are ending this path, this year path, number one, to learn about ourselves and to go through spiritual transformations about who we are, what we want, and what our future is going to start out now being from this point. We're in a number one year. It's about us next year. In a number two year, it'll be about connecting out with others. I feel there will be lots of love and lots of contracts and lots of opportunities when people start to open up and connect with others. And I think that's why we're going through this last training of self. In the next two to three weeks, we've got the high priestess. That she does represent either secrets or um, clarity when it comes to secrets. Helping to guide you to find the truth. Because this Sagittarius, or whoever's energies these are, is has control over deciding if they want to stay in this connection with the situation with this child or if they want to maybe be free and connect with others or maybe this Sagittarius is trying to find out about a three-party party situation or is trying to find out if they want to move on to a three-party situation to a third party to a new party actually and spirits say now is the time to just uh, slow down with the knight of wands there may be uh, the unnecessary desire in November to December to really focus on having to make some sort of decision, but I'm not feeling that it is necessary. Now is a time for holidays and family. In the next four to six weeks, though, it is a good time to contemplate on what it is you are hoping for. This is hopes and fears. Maybe some of you are fearing that you're going to make an unhealthy choice because of a secret and want to go back towards the past and start a new world back there. It could be that someone is fearing that there are unhealthy decisions being made, that someone's keeping a secret, that they're I almost feel like the Sagittarius is keeping the secret or they're contemplating secret thoughts within themselves because in their outcome position, whoever these energies are, they really just want a happily ever after. They want to be in a contented family life. Now, the person they're thinking of or the situation or environment that they're connected to, we'll say person for now, they have the strength card energies when it comes to something that has to come to some sort of conclusion or ending. They are watching a situation come to a close with maybe someone who made bad choices. Spirit saying, wow, because these were in here from a reading a while ago. I don't know how they stayed in there. They're saying that you have the key. I believe this is a message to the Sagittarius. That even if things get broken along the way, you can grow beyond that. Because I believe this is a soulmate connection. Now, in your thoughts position... Spirit is offering you a, or this person, I'm sorry, the person that this Sagittarius is thinking of, the life renewed acorn to bury and to create a brand new path, a new direction, a new goal, a new idea. It could be that this Sagittarius is thinking of a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, who is keeping their heart wide open. In the recent past, there may have been a situation involving a third person, meaning maybe there's three people living in the house, maybe there's a third person in the family who's having concerns and issues, and you know this is a mother figure that's worried about the situation. In the next four to six weeks, we have the magician energies. So the person that this Sag is thinking about 
in the next couple few weeks is finally outgrowing maybe some really intense thoughts and they're trying to or are starting to evolve the light is starting to shine from within them maybe they tried to believe in someone who was dishonest and spirits telling that person to continue to look closely at this path I don't think she has to be told that I don't know why I'm feeling like it's a girl but in the next four to six weeks this person almost wants to just fly free get away not even care where it is that they are traveling to and in their outcome position they become extremely focused now let's see if we can get more information what are they focused so much on the person that Sagittarius is thinking about in the next four to seven weeks, maybe even towards the end of December. Very, very focused and determined. Maybe they have been freed from a situation that has helped for them to finally open up and shine and be free from something they were focusing too much on inside of themselves. Yes, thank you, Spirit. So this is a card from the Witches Tarot Ellen Dugan deck. And uh, this person is definitely looking at a path that they tried to maintain and keep and adjust and pile up and just try and make it work in whatever way they could. And they're coming to the realization that there's nothing in these cups. Everything has spilled over and out over a period of time. Therefore, now she can move forward into her future or this person can move into their future following the sun and the stars to a new beginning. And that is what this person is very focused on. Letting go of the unfulfilled cups. However that may apply. So in a three card summary to my left, we've got the first week and a half to two weeks from whichever Sagittarius is watching this video. Unable to make a clear choice. Maybe be between financial places in different environments relationships. Why? Because there's not enough information. I can't help but notice two younger people here. So the Sagittarius is being blessed with the star, the star card energies to hope, wish, and pray on a star, knowing that spirit's going to help manifest a path maybe away from things that have had to be tended to and had to be left and had to be tended to to finally find yourself or who this Sagittarius is with the energies of the sun where they are finally feeling happy and fulfilled once again. So it's like Sagittarius is, are coming up over the edge of something here, a concern. I'm gonna clarify real quick. Yeah, spirit saying, make a wish. Someone's coming in to visit maybe in the next week and a half, two weeks, or make a wish to travel. Maybe someone, a message comes in and it makes you shine and realize that everything's gonna be okay. Now in the next two to three weeks, Sagittarius energies are about the Seven of Swords, wanting to just chase after what this Sagittarius wants and not even care about what anyone else is thinking because they're getting to a point where they just can't take it anymore. They're ready to cut someone or something out of their path. That's where we're running into the secrets in the next two to three weeks. That's where some of you, not all of you, whoever's energies this is or these are, you may be up in your head about how to speak your truth without hurting anyone too deeply. Again, we have a child, but we have the nine of wands or the ten of wands, thank goodness. Saying that this child maybe has been clinging to in that egg, and say the egg represents love. They have gone through an experience, or you guys have gone through an experience with a child to the point where now they are becoming the bird within. They are flying away from what was through some spiritual assistance. And what that does, look at that, is it sweeps away a burden. Now, burden may be a harsh word when it comes to a child, but sometimes children need assistance spiritually. 
chemically, emotionally. Thank you. So in the outcome position we have in the next four to six weeks, the Sagittarius really hoping, wishing, and praying, making new goals, ideas, wishing and hoping on the wheel of fortune that this relationship, this connection that is so fair and even will continue to evolve. Maybe there's a new offer, a refreshing um, cup of love and the beginning of starting over, even though it has been dis difficult. Some may be turning away from a situation because they don't feel loved enough, like there's just not enough love in that cup. You, in the next four to six weeks, whoever the Sagittarius is, are the leader of your tower. You are the king of your castle, okay? Make sure you don't chatter too much with others about what's transpiring in maybe your personal life at this time. Just through the happy holidays. A letter may come. That will tempt you. That will bring you up in the clouds a little bit, whoever the Sag is. Be cautious, because what's tied to the snake, the dishonest one, is a long, difficult path through the mountains. All right, so again with the Fox Energies, the card represents needing to be careful Maybe someone's deceiving you or some of you are deceiving another person. When this fox describes another person, they are not an ignorant person, but they may not be the most trustworthy. They're clever, cunning, and maybe a workaholic. Now, this can also um, indicate backstabbing and issues in, uh, with career. And if it comes to health for someone who's asking, uh, get a second opinion. This, uh, if you're waiting for some information, an event can occur in the winter or within 14 days, 14 weeks, or 14 months. So maybe after 14 months, what transpires now, what leads you guys towards the light, which finally helps you to walk away and find balance. Walk away with your partner towards a beautiful blessing or walking away without your partner. Walking away in your own path if you're single, knowing that eventually there will be balance. Look at there's children again. There will be a happy home. There will be a beautiful new path in love offered from the universe. That is the gift. And then you will have the energies of the Empress with this beautiful blessing, this beautiful gift to either leave troubled waters behind when it comes to career and finance and or a person or to continue to put your energy in to keep your heart open and to observe and set new goals for yourself. For some of you, I feel like this is a very important time to really contemplate new goals for yourself, new skills, talents, and projects. When things get slow in the winter, it's a good time to work on projects, even if it's a puzzle. You know, get yourself interested in something. Well, the things in life seem to transpire slowly at times for some of us. To spirit, it, it, there isn't time. There's only watching and observing the lessons, the decisions, and the yeah choices of those around us. So if you want a happy home life, this is available in your outcome position. Everyone's going to come together if there's communication and strong structure, especially through November, middle December. And then I just see happiness and getting over the hump. And 
the freedom of success. So let's see, word of prayer from the angels with the angel tarot deck by Doreen Virtue. I'm going to just ask for a last word of prayer. We have the king of water. Some of you may have an older Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio coming to visit for the holidays. We have trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. There will be trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Remember to give to charity at this time, for you will be blessed with more clarity, guidance, and karmic blessings when it comes to both love and money. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I hope to hear from you guys very soon. If not, you'll be hearing from me eventually. Happy holidays, take care, and God bless.